Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. I have been getting so many requests to do a classic hair tutorial on those beachy waves I wear pretty much every single day. This is definitely my go-to style and they last for like a week. <laughs> like if you are someone with like really thick hair like me or damaged hair or you just don't like to wash your hair that much and you love like dry shampoo, you can go ahead and wear these waves for days. I just want to quickly say thank you so much to Dove for sponsoring this video and working with me on it. So first and foremost, if you have damaged hair like I do, the best thing you can do is use as little heat as possible. So I try to let my hair air dry, um, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna use a hair dryer. So it's no secret that my hair has been through so much. Um, it's had its rough moments. Where is my hair dryer? Where did I put my hair dryer? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, don't ask me how, but my hair dryer was in my closet. So I already went ahead and put in my favorite heat protectant. Make sure your hair is protected because between between all the processing my hair has gone through because, you know, I'm, I'm a fake blonde. I also use like a curling wand pretty frequently when I'm desperate and I can't let my hair air dry. I use my hair dryer. So my hair is definitely damaged, but I take really good care of it. I like put the effort in to try to make sure it stays alive. <laughs> and honestly, I have been using, let me get it out of my shower, the Dove right here repair cream conditioner okay guys so we all know that beautiful healthy hair is not one size fits all so dove has a range of conditioners to choose from with the right texture and level of moisture for your hair type so they have a unique set of conditioners that includes the dove intense repair the dove daily moisture conditioner the dove milk gel and the dove cream conditioner the selection of conditioners allows every woman to choose their perfect texture match based on their hair type it is wet but I use that one because I have really thick and really damaged hair and it just makes it very soft, very shiny, very manageable, easier to brush out because brushing out my hair is <laughs> really hard, especially now that it's gotten fairly long. So I really like that it gives me nourishment, makes it easier to detangle. And another pro tip is when you're brushing your hair, if you have a lot of snarls, start at the bottom, work your way up. Like if you have a snarl up here, work your way up. Like if you start at the top, you're just gonna end up breaking a lot of your hair. So before I start blow drying, I'm gonna give another little pro tip here. I learned this back in cosmetology school, so I got you. Wait, I have a couple tips. <laughs> First and foremost, ooh, I like that the dryer, the mirror is back there and you can see like the back view. So at the end of your shower, if you can handle it, especially in the summertime, go ahead and blast really cold water on your hair at the very end, just for like 10 seconds, as long as you can handle, and it's gonna close the cuticle of your hair Sorry, my, my dryer, is that, is that loud? So that cold water is going to close the hair cuticle and give you even more shine. Make sure your products are locked in. And then when it comes to blow drying your hair, one of the biggest things I can say is blow dry downward. If you're blowing up like this or like this, it can blow out that cuticle, fray it up, make it look frizzy, less shiny. When you blow downward, Again, we're closing the cuticle, we're giving more shine, we're making our hair look its best. And then also, if you wanna take a cool shot after you're blow drying, that will also create a bit more shine as well. So, let's blow dry this bad boy. I'm gonna part my hair in the middle. Cause I'm gonna show you two different styling techniques at the end, cause I have pretty much two looks that I wear with these waves and they both kind of go hand in hand. And depending on your hair type, this doesn't have to be like pin straight or anything. Just make sure it's like fairly, you know, smooth and not a lot of texture because you want like a, a smooth base to create that soft beach wave. So like I said, Dove has a range of conditioners for all of your hair types. Whichever kind you need, the bottom line is, when you go ahead and start off with like a good base, it's gonna work on the hair health, nourishing any damage, making sure your hair is in the best condition to like get to the pretty end results of like a beautiful beach wave. So the repair cream conditioner that I'm using is the most potent conditioner in the new Ultra Care range. So it has indulgent nourishment suited for thick hair and damage, 
from everyday habits like heat styling and coloring, environmental factors, things like that. So this rich conditioning treatment has the highest level of innovative Dove Micro Nourishing Complex to fortify, instantly smooth every strand of hair. It makes your hair super glossy and healthy. And it also has a revolutionary and patented conditioner technology with micro sheets. And this eliminates tangles and reduces breakage when the hair is at its most vulnerable, when it's wet. You guys can visit walmart.com to find the right conditioner with the right texture for your hair type and needs. So another tip, I like a lot of volume. So if you want to get some lift at the root, because I'm parting my hair in the middle, I'm flipping my hair over to the opposite side and I'm blowing on the root to get that lift. So when I flip it back over, the hair is lifted at the root. So I do that on both sides to get some volume. All right, I got hot. <laughs> I had to take my robe off. I got hot. Guys, today, when I'm filming this, it's a record high heat <laughs> in Massachusetts. Like, what the heck? It's like 95 and like wicked humid. Like, where are we? As you can see, I think you could even tell when I was blow drying it, your hair is so <laughs> shiny after you use that conditioner. Like, it really does just make it like super smooth and soft it just oh my god it feels really really good um and i love that it's look at like, look at that shine what i love that it's more like affordable i'm gonna start my hair off in the middle my hair is naturally pretty straight so like i said i do think it helps to kind of have like a smooth you know oh my god like i'm dead like that shine is crazy what and blonde hair, I always felt like, back when I had brown hair, I always felt like blonde hair was harder to get shiny. And like this conditioner is just like the bomb. I have a zit right in the center of my chest. <laughs> the full center. So next you're going to want to go ahead and just grab your favorite curling wand. There are a lot out there. Grab the one you love the best. I would say the diameter of my wand is about an inch. Um, a lot of people use a bigger wand for that beach wave but i'll show you why i like to use this one because when you brush it out it really loosens up a lot and you don't lose the curl now that we have our hair base looking absolutely flawless i'm going to wrap the hair around about one inch sections and as you can see i'm leaving out about two inches on the bottom and then i drop the curl and hold it in my hand to let it cool for a second to hold its shape and then i release so as you can see, you're like, Alex, that's not a beach wave. Trust the process, always trust the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one inch section. So I've noticed this. When people do beach wave tutorials, they kind of twirl the hair like this. And as you can see, it's like chunky at the bottom. The hair is not laying flat against the wand. I don't feel like those curls last as long for me personally so i'm releasing i'm holding it to my hand i'll show you guys kind of the difference this is just how i personally do my hair so as you can see it gives more of that like doopy dop <laughs> wavy look here versus this looks more like a baloney curl this is more of a classic beach wave look but this does not last for me so you can kind of rotate and do the two just to get kind of a nice mixed of textures but by the time we have it held we brush it out and if you sleep on it for days i feel like this kind of curl lasts longer so again this one was laid flat against the wand and this one was not so i'm going to go ahead and interchange the two just so i can get the longevity of it see how i'm like flattening the hair as i go around and it's laying flat against the wand always leaving out around two inches that's really going to give you that beach wave look if you curl all the way down to the bottom it will give you more of like a romantic classic curl look so i'm just going to continue this process i personally like to do my curls all facing the same way so i'm going back to that second pattern now where i'm just wrapping carelessly and it's a little bit more chunky it's not laying flat um, against the wand but I like to do all of my curls away from my face. So as I brush them out and days go on, it kind of keeps that soft, like flowing look. I just love it. So, I mean, I get a lot of requests because I wear my hair like this really frequently. 
So this is just exactly how I do it on the day to day or the week to week because I really do I wear these curls well summer's been hard because I'm like swimming a lot and it's hot and I'm showering but normally I wear these curls for like oh my god like a week let it cool little release so I'm just gonna keep doing that same thing to at this side I rotated the curls I did all away from my face you might notice like a piece like this will pop out <laughs> a little straight strand um, I used to have to section my hair into sections to curl it but the longer it got the more I could like just notice like long sections of straight hair and I could kind of take it like section by section as you saw and when it comes to the back I would literally just like grab a piece grab a piece grab a piece and section it all towards the front as I went so I have now let my curls cool for a few minutes after I finished curling and I'm gonna go ahead and spray them with my favorite light hold hairspray and I kind of like hold the curls up as I do it kind of lift but the steps of this is pretty crucial for how I get things done so now I'm gonna go ahead and let that hairspray dry so I'm just gonna give it a few minutes as you can see the curls are like very prominent they don't look like beach waves yet but we did everything like this for a reason step by step at the end it all comes together and then also I forgot to say when I'm doing my front kind of bang pieces I make sure I lay the curls flat because I think they give a really pretty frame to the face okay so now that my hairspray is dry this is my favorite part to do you're going to finger brush out your curls and you're gonna do it fairly gently because like it's gonna be a little rough with the hairspray in but I think by doing I've mixed up my steps and I feel like this one works the best for longevity and look and we're basically just pulling those curls apart we are running our fingers through the hair we are zhuzhing we're fluffing we're running our fingers through so by now your curls are in full hold because we let them cool down I was gonna say dry let them cool down from the heat then we sprayed them we let the hairspray dry everything this is really how you're gonna get these curls to last and be able to have them hold some sort of shape when we're brushing through so here's the before and after like this just looks like real curls and then this is how by pulling running through you get that really beautiful wave and I'm not even kidding guys seriously like look at the shine like your hair just looks so healthy that conditioner is seriously amazing I'm obsessed like it's all about having a healthy strong base in the hair especially if it's been through a lot like mine but as I said in the beginning there are so many different options for the Dove conditioners like no matter if you have fine hair thick hair damaged hair color treated all sorts of things just doing the same thing over here and you instantly just get like so much volume and then I really like the way the bangs kind of flow back by curling away from the face and flat laying on the curling wand you can go ahead and do another spritz of your favorite hairspray but you really don't need to and that way your hair actually like feels really soft and doesn't feel like crunchy or anything <laughs> like my hair feels so soft and it's holding shape so by doing it in that order that's how you're gonna maintain shape that's how you're gonna get the curls to last a really long time that's how I do it all the time <laughs> I hope this video was helpful I've been getting this request for a really long time I haven't done an updated version in a super long time and I just really love these curls so if you go ahead and do big bombshell beach waves like this go ahead and send me a video Send me a picture, tweet me, Instagram me. If you stuck around to the end, I wanna show you another favorite thing I like to do. So I love my middle part, but sometimes I wanna rock a glamorous side part and just look romantic and magical. So pick the side that you like to part on after you've already styled it like this, like follow the routine just like this in the middle and then switch over to your side part and then keep that kind of fluffed over and it gives the prettiest romantic swoop like that's my favorite way to do that because I used to part my hair on the right side and then do the curling wand the same way like away from my face and it wouldn't give me that same like lift on the top and that romantic 
like glamorous old school kind of look so I'm obsessed like this is one of my favorite favorite looks to do so it's a big tip <laughs> do it in the middle to start and then swap over to your side part and it's interchangeable and it will last for like a wicked long time so Anyway, thank you so much again to Dove for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in my next video.